Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you how I make my red beans and rice. And this is going to be from scratch. This is not from a box, so I'm going to make this as quick as possible. And I'm going to make it in my crock pot. This is my favorite large crock pot. Okay, and first of all, I have some smoked turkey wings right here, which makes your beans very, very delicious, flavorful, and just tastes so good. My red beans. Um, I need some soul food. I need some food that's going to warm up my soul today. So it's so cold outside. So I wanted some beans. So right here I have some smoked turkey. And this is used to flavor the beans. And I'm just going to put that right in the crock pot. Okay. And it's smoked turkey. Um, you can pick it up at Kroger's, Walmart, any grocery store you usually have it, Ralph's. Um, Albertsons, whatever grocery store is close to you. Um, and right here I have some red beans and what I did was I washed them r really well and I rinsed them really well and I picked out all the rocks and all the deformed uh, red beans. So I'm just going to pour that in the crock pot. So what I have right now, I have 10 cups of water and I have the smoked turkey and right here I have half of an onion that I chopped up and I have two about two cloves of garlic now you can always use more onion and you can always use more garlic what I probably do is add another half of onion because that doesn't look like very much so I just chop that up and I just put that everything in okay so I have the garlic and the onion okay so for the seasonings um, I'm going to add some seasoned salt, Lowry seasoned salt. I have some black pepper, okay, and I have some onion powder, and I have some garlic powder, okay, so I'm just going to add that. Um, I'll add all the seasonings after the beans are done, and after I cook the beans, um, I'm going to fry this catfish to go I'm going to have red beans and rice catfish cornbread not jiffy but cornbread from scratch um, because I do love to cook and I do love to eat and I do love good food okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to put this on the inside the crock pot warmer and that's okay so that's in the uh, crock pot so what I do is I cook that on low for about six to seven hours it depends on uh, I guess the make and model of your crock pot or how hot it gets, but I usually uh, put it on I go to work and then I come back home and voila it's done Hey guys, this is what the finished product looks like and I'm getting ready to hurt myself This is a homemade cornbread that I told you guys um, that I was going to be making which is really really delicious this is the macaroni and cheese, homemade. Um, I put some crushed crackers on top. And then I have some catfish, which is seasoned very, very well. And I have some red beans and rice. And I have that smoked turkey that I just took off the bone because I like my beans with a lot of meat. So I mix my rice with my beans and the turkey meat because that's the way I like it. I've got a little bit of... Um, broccoli and I'm getting ready to get down because I'm having a hard time filming this because I just got off work I just cooked this and I am starving like Marvin but I wanted to show you guys the finished product of how the beans um, turned out and I like a lot of meat you know like I said I got a lot of seasonings um, but I wanted to show that to you guys so I'm going to get down I got my remote in my hand I got my Kool-Aid, and I got my favorite TV program coming on. So I will catch you guys later. Love you.